we're giving you a peek at just how Mercola supplements are formulated. It's an arduous process. After following strict quality controls comes the encapsulation process at the bustling manufacturing facility of RFI. RFI manufactures many of Mercola's highest quality natural supplements. Dr. Mercola is there, in Loveland, Colorado, with Paul L. Taffer, RFI's Vice President for Business and Product Development, to talk about the company's capsule manufacturing process. This is the room where they make the capsule. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that, and then show us how loud it is. Okay, well, we're not going to spend too much time in here because it's very loud. Well, later on, we'll show you a nice video and we can discuss it because right. it's a very important part of what we do. Right. But indeed, this is the room where we put the powders that we've just proven to be the quality and of the safety that we've, uh, we've intended to, and now we put it into a capsule. Would you like to see it? Sure. We just got out of that noisy environment and we would never be able to have this conversation with you because of all the competition with the noise. So I thought it would be better to have this discussion in this setting. And Paul, why don't you describe what the, is sh shown in the film and how the capsules are actually uh, manufactured. Sure, so what we have in that room is a Bosch 2400 automatic encapsulating machine. And uh, there we put the powders that we've just discussed earlier. We put those into capsules, into two-piece hard shell capsules. Basically, the machine mechanically separates the two parts of the capsule. It takes the top and keeps it a separate. Meantime, it fills with powder through what they call a dosing plate. They fill powder and tamp it down into so that it has a specific and precise amount of weight that you're looking for. And then once that fill, fill is done, it places the, the, the tops back on the capsule and then ejects the capsule once it's filled. That's basically what happens in an encapsulation. Okay. And then from that uh, process, then it goes into the other stages, which we'll show in, in, a, in a later segment. But right now I wanted to mention that uh, RFI is a company. These are just some of the supplements that they manufacture for us. What many other manufacturers would use is our flow agents and lubricating agents to make that process that you just saw in the video occur more efficiently, which is why we have very strict standards and, and only work with companies that refuse to use them and work with us in acquire standards. And these are other ingredients that really provide you with very little no benefit, virtually no benefit. And they, by law, are required to be listed on the label. So these are things that you can look for. And I'm going to let Paul, who is really an expert in this, uh, discuss some of those other ingredients that you need to be alerted to and uh, why they are a challenge and, and you know the, the put the whole perspective and frame on it. So why don't you take sure. up the discussion from here, Paul. As you mentioned, Dr. McCullough, in, uh, in a supplement you have to list not only the active ingredients, uh, you also have to list all of the other ingredients in a supplement. And um, manufacturers commonly use a broad variety of different processing aids is what you would call them. They're excipients, they're lubricants, they're flow agents, uh, ingredients to help um, increase the density of products or the flow of products or even fillers, things to make things seem more fi uh, full in a, ca in a capsule. Um, and they're commonly used around the industry, they're broadly accepted, but some people, like your company, decide that those are not acceptable and so we have to uh, adjust our process to limit the kinds and qualities and types of processing aids we're allowed to use in process. The result of that is that we tend to be a little bit slower than other companies in terms of our output. Because we're limited in lubricants and flow agents and all that kind of stuff, we have to uh, slow down our, our equipment a little bit to keep up, to be able to keep up with the demanding quality and safety requirements of the product that you that you entrust to us to make. And uh, quality is our goal, so we don't mind increasing the cost slightly to provide a higher quality, and, because if a person is taking a supplement, we want them to get full benefits. That's right, I mean, the, our, whole, our whole focus is to meet or surpass the quality requirements that, you, that you've requested and demand from us. And so as, a, as your manufacturing partner, we want to make sure that we meet or surpass your, your requirements and we're happy to do that for you. Many people have heard of the slow food movement, which is you know, really a movement in the direction of providing high quality food. Well, this is like the slow supplement move because it takes longer to make it, obviously increasing the price somewhat. But it re we really think it's important to commit to a high quality product 
and we do we think this is an important differentiating factor that not many other companies are committed to. Well, and we appreciate your your concern for quality, and uh, and that's not a bad analogy, making a slow supplement movement kind of a thing. So yes, I think we're we're on board with where you're going. Well, thanks for all your help and support. Thank you for coming. Stay tuned for more informational videos about Mercola.com's partnership with RFI Manufacturing and our commitment to quality by helping you take better control of your health.